In order to be compliant with COPPA, I am informing you that this video has been created with general audiences in mind and is in no way targeted specifically towards children. By proceeding, you are agreeing that you are within YouTube's terms of service and older than the FTC's definition of a child, which means you are 13 years of age or older, and that my intention is now abundantly clear up front that kids are not my intended audience. Thank you for your patience through this short disclaimer, and I hope you enjoy the video. How's it going, YouTube lovers? This is the Eagle Builder Animator, and welcome back to another video where today I am doing another Minecraft Dungeons tutorial. Thank you so much for all the support that you showed me on the first video. That one is almost to 30,000 views and over 500 likes. That That is absolutely insane That how active that video has been. Thank you so much for all of the support you've shown on that video. And I'm making another one today. If you notice, the thumbnails are eerily similar because it is another tutorial about how to get your own custom skins and custom cape textures into dungeons. Now, the reason I'm remaking this is because the team at DokuCraft has actually made it so much easier. It was already convenient. And now it's even more convenient and easier to get these mods and get these skins all set up. So today I'm going to be talking about how to do that. Uh, here are the timestamps right here. Um, if you would like to skip ahead to something, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing that you are going to want to do is not actually join the DokuCraft Discord, although you, I, you still can because that's where you can get help for textures, for done, for how to do the mods, uh, more general help. The team is really nice there. Uh, but you don't have to join the Discord to make these mods, you just need to instead click the link in the description and go to this site here, dokucraft.co.uk slash custom skins loader. This is where you're going to find everything that you are going to need to have your own custom skins in the game. The first thing you are going to want to do is just download the mod itself. Uh, right here, there are two versions of the custom skins loader. There's the standard edition, which is just for regular skin files, and the high definition edition, which allows you to have HD Minecraft skins in the game. Now, we're just going to be doing standard edition today because I want to put my own skin into the game. So let's go ahead, click this button, and it'll download the loader. Now, all you need to do is go to your downloads folder right here, and you will find custom skins loader.pack. Now where you are going to want to put this is into the packs folder which has a bunch of your files for Minecraft Dungeons. Now if you want to know where this is, uh, I leave I put the path down in the description. Uh, it is users, your name, app data, local, Mojang products, dungeons, 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 content, packs. I'll just leave it in the description so you can copy paste it into your file explorer. Now what you're going to do here is click new and then file and then you just want to create a folder called mods with the little squiggly line before it mods then this is where you're going to want to put your skin loader so you're going to go back to downloads grab the skin loader and put it into the mods folder there you go you have installed the mod now remember if you want to launch dungeons with mods you can't do it through the launcher because that will clear the mods folder and get rid of everything. What you're going to want to do is create a shortcut to the actual dungeons exe file. That dungeons exe can be found right here in users, your name, app data, local, mojang, products, dungeons, dungeons, just a few steps backward for where you just put the mods file. Create a shortcut to this right here and put it wherever you want. I have it right here on my desktop next to my Minecraft launcher. And then you're just going to click that and it'll launch dungeons with the mod installed. Here we are on the main menu for dungeons. I've just got a brand new hero that I created. Just went through the tutorials so we can talk about this. If you notice in the top right hand corner of the screen, you're going to see that it has successfully loaded the custom skins loader. So that means you did it right and your mod is now installed. So let's go ahead and just get into the game. Alright, here we are at camp. As you can see, I've got the HAL skin, and I have the the cape right here, the hero cape. So, this is just normal. We have not put on any of our textures yet. So you can see right here, we've got the hero cape, and we're using HAL as our skin. Now, it's time for us to actually make these textures that we're going to need for these mods. It's really easy to do that. So what you're going to want to do first is hit Shift plus F5. What that is going to do 
is load in a, an entire folder with all the skin files in the game so that you can edit them how you please. So now what we're going to do is head back here into content, packs, and then mods. And now, this is where we put the skin loader mod itself. There is now a folder called skins. And in here are all of the skin files. Everything is here. And this is going to tell you what you're going to need to name your skin file so that you can actually put it into the game. So, let's say, again, I want to replace Hal. As you can see right here, he's got Hal and Hal underscore S. Uh, all these textures have underscore, well, most of them, Gre Greta here doesn't, but most of them have underscore S uh, files. That is an extra overlay that has to do with shininess or glow or emissive or anything like that. Um, we're not going to be going into that too much because that's just a personal preference. You just edit a, a file with uh, these red or white bits where you want them. Uh, on your skin, but I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to be uploading a black one. So I need the HAL skin, but this is in a very specific format. Uh, if we go into here, I have the my skin file for my character, but that is not, if I just name this HAL and put it in, it's not going to work correctly. What I need to do is go back to the Custom Skins Loader site, and down here we have a skin converter. It's that easy. So what I'm going to do is grab my skin and drop it into the converter, and boom, it has already converted it into a proper file. So this right here, there's a couple of options. We have classic Java skin and slim Java skin, no support for legacy yet. Classic and skin just means the width of the arm, because you know like the Alex and Steve models, the way they're different is the arm width. So this would be the slim, but I'm not doing that. We're going to go with classic. So just a regular uh, Minecraft model. So then all I have to do is download skin. If I go into my downloads file, here it is, skin.png. Now all I need to do is rename this to HAL. And I'll grab it, I controlled C. And then I go back into the mods folder, into skins, and then I just Paste it right there. It says this destination already has a file named how.png. I replace the destination and boom, it is replaced how.png. Now let me also real fast, because I because I mentioned it, uh, go into here and grab this file. I'm going to just rename it to how underscore s, because I don't want to have any kind of extra shine or anything on my character. And I'll pop this in here as well. There we go. Now, in the previous version of how this uh, modding this skin would work, you would need to completely relaunch your game to see the difference. This time, however, all you need to do is go into your game and hit F5. Boom! As you can see right there, it reloaded it, and my skin is now in the game. We can go ahead and open our inventory, and boom! There we are, right there. My eagle skin in all of its glory. Excellent. So now that we've done that, let's change the cape because I have the hero cape right now, but I would like to put a different cape on. So let me show you how that works. Before I do that, I did want to comment on another thing that you can actually do with skins, and that is animated eyes. It won't work on my skin because I have the two high eyes, but let's use Aiden's skin as an example. So as you can see right here, uh, the eyes aren't moving. This is an option that you have here is for an animated face. Now what you need is you need to edit the skin file a little bit to have uh, these extra little pixels next to the head. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop with the edited version of Aiden's skin. As you can see here, he has no eyes. That's because I put the white bar and this blue pixel right here will make up his eyes in an animated skin. You could also have uh, two pixels right here for his mouth, but Aiden's skin doesn't have that, so we're just gonna go with this. Now, this is all you have to do to have the animated version of your skins. You need an edited version like this, and then you upload it into the skin editor, and then you select has animated face. Now, as you can see, he is blinking and looking around. And all you have to do is download the modified converted skin. Just like that. 
Now the cape. The cape does not have a special converter upload option on the site just yet. I'm I'm hopeful that they can do that in the venture. Hey, Doku Crafting, if you're watching this, maybe something that converts regular cape Elytra files into a dungeons version. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, so here is the hero cape that I'm currently wearing. And all I have to do to have a custom cape that overwrites this is to take this file, as we can see it covers up this area, this rectangle, and put my new cape design over it. Simple as that. Uh, this right here I'm going to use for the example is the merger cape that they tease when they talk about merging accounts. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. But here we have the merger cape, and you can do this with any of the available capes in the game. For example, the Nether uh, DLC added the, where is it, the Sinister Cape, if you wanted to overwrite that cape, and then one of your friends can have it overwritten Hero Cape, so you have different ones, you can do that. Uh, they also drops the Iron Golem Cape and the Hammer Cape, uh, the other capes that we haven't seen yet in the game, those textures are also uh, extracted into this file, but unless you have another mod that allows you to use them, you cannot uh, use this. If you're just using the skin loader mod, you can only overwrite capes that are regularly in the game. So until the hammer cape and the iron golem cape are fully implemented, nothing else. And just like the skin files, you can have an underscore S PNG that adds an extra bit of shine. I'm going to do that on this one so that the gold is a little bit shiny. And I'm going to copy these. We're going to head back into the mods folder, into skins. And we're going to overwrite these two cape files just like that. Then all we have to do is hop back into dungeons and hit F5. And boom! There we go. The cape has been overwritten. And now I have my custom skin and the merger cape in the game. Check that out right there. It still displays the hero cape uh, design in the menu. But on your character, it shows the custom cape that you just made. Now that is how you can make your custom skin and custom cape textures appear into Minecraft Dungeons. Now, only you can see this. It is just like a resource pack in Minecraft, uh, the regular Minecraft game. If you would like your friends to see this custom skin uh, or any of your custom skins, then they also need to have the custom skin loader mod installed and they need to have the files that you use to overwrite the game files. But that is all you need to do. Now I can uh, beat up monsters in my custom skin with a custom cape. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again for all the support you showed in the last video. I can't wait to see uh, the support you show on this one. And keep an eye out. I uh, haven't gotten to it yet because uh, another uh, DLC came out. I definitely want to do a video on that. But I am waiting until um, I can get more people together. I'm going to do three people in a party, not just me and Aiden, so we're going to have a third member joining us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Be sure to check out that video when it comes out. Or also just uh, click the eye in the top right hand corner right now and check out my Minecraft Dungeons playlist to see uh, me and my friends playing this game ever since it was in early access. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. This, again, uh, all the links to like DokuCraft and the mod page, everything you need, uh, including the file path, is in the description. Be sure to ask me any questions that you have further in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and leave a comment down below if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys!